You might have an idea about the places where you would often see millionaires and see a glimpse of their lifestyle. But what if the millionaire you're looking up to and aspiring to be is, is just near you? What could we all possibly learn from the millionaire next door? Join me as we unravel some of the secrets of these wealthy individuals. We only see the lavish and glamorous lifestyle of some of these people, but typical millionaires do not usually flaunt their wealth. You could be one of them, especially if you know your way around money. Because trust me, not all of them inherited a huge amount of money. Not all of them are old money rich. Millionaires that earn their way to the top through hard work and wisdom are living differently than those who were born rich. Though, what do they have that you should also incorporate in your lifestyle in order to be as rich as them? First off, most self-made millionaires know the importance of financial freedom. They do not really give so much attention to status symbols. They do not focus on showing off their money through multiple cars and various mansions in different cities. What they do have, though, is financial independence. People who are financially secure would be able to live a life free of financial worries and struggles. How would you be able to categorize yourself as financially independent? Well, that is simple. If you are financially independent, then you would not be living paycheck to paycheck. You would have the opportunity to explore life on your own terms without anyone bossing you around because you are the boss. When you retire and you're prepared for it well, then you would be able to spend the rest of your life going to places you want to go and exploring things that you want to try without worrying about work or money. Sounds so easy, I know. But if you are on your way to learning more about how you can be financially free, then you're on the right track and things will soon become much easier. So if you want to be a millionaire someday, the first thing that you should be mindful of is how you spend your money. A true millionaire does not find the need to spend money on material things that would not generate income. If you're always following the trend and want to always have the most updated gadget and fashion trend there is, then stop it right away. Right now, you should start focusing on things that matter, things that will grow your money and not take it away from you. Keep in mind that these millionaires have the luxury to have total control of their time because most of them are entrepreneurs and business owners. Maybe you want it to be like other people who look rich because of the things that they have, but in reality, they do not even have an emergency fund. But that is not the way to becoming rich. Additionally, when you stop caring about these material things, you would be able to set and prioritize your goals. Are you someone who spent your money carelessly before you clicked on this video? Or have you always been good at budgeting your money? I would love to know which one you are, so comment your answers below. Also, if you have this mindset, it would be so easy for you to save knowing that you're using this for your future plans instead of living a lifestyle that you cannot afford in the first place. The more mindful you are of your money, the better you can budget and the more you're going to save. The next thing that you should figure out is where are you going to put these savings? How would you be able to grow your wealth? Where do millionaires spend their money? I bet you must have already heard about this, but this is the reality. Millionaires accumulate wealth and grow their money through smart investments. They know that spending money to grow your business and take care of their health is a smart move. You know what they say, health is wealth. It is indeed. Although typical millionaires are not easily falling for these luxury brands, they are not afraid to spend their money on medical care and investment services. These millionaires also know that by spending money on their businesses, they are able to get better results and therefore more money will come in. If you usually get lost in topics like this, a good investment that you can make is to get advice from people who are more knowledgeable in the field. No rush through because it would really take some time to plan this out. You see, especially when you're just starting out a business, you would have a lot of factors and steps to consider. You do not just drop your money and wait for it to double or triple without right planning. There are tons of investments right now that you can also consider. So, are you supposed to just invest in something that you think is interesting and fun? 
how would you be able to say that it is the best investment for you? Every one of us has an interest in something. Leverage that and think of an investment that you can make out of that interest or knowledge. Maybe you love paintings and artworks, then you can try to seek investment opportunities related to that. If you work in real estate, then go make some investments in real estate because you're already knowledgeable about that. You do not have to be an expert right away. Most opportunities that actually make others rich are something they do not have expertise on. Remember that we all work in progress. As long as your intention is to grow your money through trying out different ventures and businesses, then you would certainly learn something along the way. Investing in what you already know would help you have an idea of what is going to happen. Though all investments are risky, the more you know about where your money is going, the more likely it is going to give you profit. For sure, you've already thought of how unfair life can be most of the time because look at these millionaires' children just enjoying their life to the fullest without having to worry about the things that most of us worry about, especially money. Millionaires who were born rich have a different perspective, sometimes considering that they did not undergo the struggles that we went through. If you're not born into a wealthy household, it does not mean that you no longer have the opportunity to be a millionaire as well. Do millionaires' children have better opportunities and a better future than most of us who are going through the tough process of learning, failing, and trying once again? The answer is no, not all the time. It is easier to think that these children already have their future figured out, just because their parents are also sharing their wealth with them. When millionaires share their wealth with their children, it would greatly affect their children's view on money. Self-made millionaires often know how it was like to learn and struggle just to get to where they are. That is why they want to share their knowledge to their children as well, not their wealth. They know that if they carelessly give money to their children, they would think that money is so easy to acquire and to spend, thus resulting in them becoming financially dependent on their parents most of their life. Sure, some would argue that they worked smart and hard so that they could give their children the best life possible. But what would happen to them when you're gone and no one is providing them money anymore? What would happen if they did not even know how to do what you did in order to maintain the lifestyle that they got used to? Most millionaires, on the other hand, train their children to know how valuable money is and that you should know your way around money. Well, if you already have children, you might want to learn from this. As early as possible, teach them the things that you know about money. Doing this does not mean that you do not want to share your wealth with them. This just means that you care for them and you're equipping them with the right mindset to be able to be millionaires in the future as well. Other millionaires' children who do not know how to make their own money tend to be financially dependent on their wealthy parents, even though they already have their own family. Yes, they might have the luxurious lifestyle, but in reality, they did not even know how to make or even grow their own money. You may also not believe this, but those who are most financially dependent on their parents would often have the largest share of the inheritance. No matter the amount that you inherit, if you do not know how to budget wisely and have no idea where you're going to put your money besides luxurious brands and stuff you do not need, then this money would eventually go to waste. Now, I hope you get the importance of being financially literate as early as possible. Educating your children about finance and money would be fruitful in the future. In this modern times, everyone should know that the key to becoming a millionaire is not often taught in school. We should often figure out and explore opportunities that will create more money for us instead of spending all our years being an employee. Learn, invest, be consistent, and share your knowledge to your loved ones. Money would always be there. You just have to know how you will get it and maintain the lifestyle that you've always wanted. At the end of the day, the millionaires we always portray in our mind are not often not the same as the actual millionaires. We always have this vision that millionaires ride the most expensive cars and live in the most lavish houses, but in reality, millionaires are often surrounding you. And if you want to be like them, you have to learn from them. I hope that this video gave you some enlightenment about wealth and lifestyle. 
And if you enjoyed watching this and want some more finance-related videos and contents talking about life-changing books, then make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Like this video and feel free to comment down some of the books that you want us to talk about. And I'll see you in our next video.